Hey, welcome back everybody. It is Sunday, June 26th. And uh, just going for a little ride today. Um, my mom came down this week. Her 50th uh, high school reunion uh, was this weekend. So uh, we just got back from that just uh, an hour or so ago. And uh, I decided to uh, go for a little ride. And for once, not only did I know the day, but I knew the date. Let's see if we can have a little fun through here. And the reason uh, I knew the date was my spider can tell me. I don't know if I can see it's 625. So uh, I was thinking about that yesterday. I'm like, I don't need to know what the date is. All I gotta do is look at the spider. So uh, the back tire is going to be needing uh, to be changed here really soon. Uh, so I called the uh, tire shop I normally get the tire from and they cannot get it anymore. So for some reason, uh, I stopped looking for it. Holy crap, that's a lot of gravel. Um, and I went on tire rack and found a Sumitomo HTR ASP02, maybe. Um, change the size up a little bit. It's just a little bit taller and a, a little skinnier. I've run that size before on a, an old spider I had and it it's fine. It doesn't mess with anything that I noticed. Um, so after I ordered that tire for a uh, whopping $77, where if I went with the factory tire, it would be, I don't know how much they want anymore, $175 just for the tire that lasts 10,000 miles. Uh, I went back on Tire Rack, and uh, Tire Rack still has the uh, Kumo Solus. So, that kind of sucked, you know, I would have ordered that tire instead, but, you know, they're not going to make that tire forever. So I need to find another tire, because I'm not going to spend that much money on a, a factory tire. What happens with the uh, the factory tire is it's super soft, but that's not the main. The main issue is it doesn't have any stability to it. So when you're out driving, I do a lot of highway. It grows in height like a dragster tire because it's just there's not enough plies to it. So it wears the center of the tire out and I've done everything, you know, I've tried to, to slow down a little bit, um, lower the air pressure, but the outside of the tire will look brand new and the center will be as bald as bald can be. So that's why I, uh, I run a car tire. And I don't notice any difference in how it performs. Uh, the ride doesn't change any. Running a stiffer it has more plies. A car tire has more plies, and it can support more weight. So you would think it would be a stiffer tire, but I haven't noticed. And I run about the same air pressure, anywhere from 25 to 30 psi.
Um, traction, you can tell, and this tire is almost wore out. Uh, I mean, like, I might have 330 seconds left on it. It's pretty done. Um, so now I can tell that it's giving up grip. But the tires, it's done. It's time to come off. So, uh, it is what it is. So today, the temperature is a very mild 74 degrees, if, if. Um, crazy wind, though. It is a very stiff breeze. Tomorrow, the high is only supposed to be 72. So we're, we're normally, you know, between 85 and 90 this time of year. So to have almost a week of uh, low 70 degree weather is uh, kind of crazy. But uh, I'm not going to complain about it. Tomorrow when it's 50 degrees, I'll throw on a jacket and uh, up on the old spider and head to work. And love every second of it. So like I said, I'm going to try a new tire. It is on order. It should be in uh, sometime this next week. And then I'll figure out uh, when I'm going to have the time to take the rear wheel off and get it down to the Sunoco station. I also ordered a, a tube of Ride On. When uh, I worked at the shop, we could not mount the back tire on our balancers. So I wanted something else, a, a different way to balance the, the wheel tire. So I started looking into it and uh, heard about this ride-on stuff. Um, and the only vibrations I get out of this is, you know, from this thing having a, a belt that's a mile long. Uh, I, I highly recommend this stuff. I've had it in a tire for 30,000 miles, dismounted the tire, and the stuff stays in the tire. It doesn't coat the rim. And if there is a little bit on the rim, you just wipe it off. It stays a, a liquidy substance. And, you know, from what I've seen, it, there's no damage to the tire and or the rim. Like if you run, especially the older uh, liquid fix-a-flats. So I probably started using the stuff in 2012 with uh, my first RS. So I've used it quite a bit. So I'll make a video on how to uh, get the back tire off on this. And it's going to be really similar, similar to the, uh, you do the same thing with the RS and the ST. I've had both of them. You know, it's going to be a little different just how it's set up, but it's really close. Now, the RT, I have not done one on an RT. I'm assuming it's going to be pretty much the same. I know the uh, the RT has that back fender that really comes down in the rear, but uh, I don't see why it would be any different. And how I do it, I don't mess with the belt adjustment. I'll check it when I'm done, but uh, it shouldn't need touched. So once again, just a, a great country road. Not a lot of traffic. Go as fast or as slow as you care. I mean, I love it.
talked a little bit. Oh, he's hammering on that diesel. Turbo was screaming. Uh, talked a little bit. I want to... I need to figure out what days I'm going to put out a video so I can be a little bit more consistent. So I'm going to be sitting down this week and figuring that out. I'm probably going to have to get a calendar to actually remind me and then check it that I'm going to have to do a video. So uh, I told my daughter then that we're probably going to have to take a ride either on a Tuesday night or a Thursday night, so uh, she'll help me out with them a little bit. So there we go, we're coming into uh, the little town of Somerset. Everybody stay safe, thanks for watching, thank you for subscribing. Uh, Hope your weekend was great, and I'll see you in a couple days.